Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ and today I'm going to talk about a few companies that you can invest in in order to benefit from the rise in the price of Bitcoin. And so there are many people that may be interested in getting into Bitcoin or maybe other cryptocurrencies and just even getting started with the process of creating a digital wallet, understanding what a digital wallet is, understanding what the cryptocurrency is itself, and then either purchasing Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency or mining Bitcoin in order to earn it from supporting the network. And so for some people, just getting started with something like that is too much of a hassle or too much of a learning curve that maybe they're not willing to take the time to learn how to do. And so now that Bitcoin is more of a, a global phenomenon and it's in the mainstream now, there are actually publicly traded companies who own Bitcoin and whose stock price also benefit from the fact that they hold Bitcoin. And so if you're a person that already knows how to invest in the stock market or maybe just getting started with investing in the stock market and you don't want to learn another thing by creating your own digital wallet or trying to mine Bitcoin yourself. And so today I'm going to talk about the top six stocks based on how much Bitcoin they hold currently. And so this was recorded in early July of 2021. And at the time of this recording, the sixth largest holder of Bitcoin as far as publicly traded stocks is Coinbase. Now Coinbase, whose ticker symbol is COIN, this is actually probably the most popular way that you can actually buy Bitcoin directly. It is a company that allows you to trade, hold, buy and sell, as well as earn interest from the cryptocurrencies that you hold, including Bitcoin. So it's really the most popular way that you can actually access Bitcoin directly through your mobile phone. But now it is actually a publicly traded stock as well. Back in April of 2021, Coinbase had their IPO. And surprisingly, considering this is the most well-known way that you can actually purchase Bitcoin as an individual person, it's not even in the top five as far as companies that actually hold Bitcoin. So that was actually really surprising to me when I was doing the research to confirm, you know, which companies had the most Bitcoin, I automatically assumed that Coinbase would be in the top five, but because it wasn't in the top five and it was number six, I made this a top six instead of a top five. And so you can think of Coinbase as kind of like the TD Ameritrade or maybe Charles Schwab or Fidelity. Coinbase is basically the number one brokerage account for cryptocurrencies. So if you wanna buy and sell cryptocurrency, more than likely you've probably heard of Coinbase or if you already do trade Bitcoin directly, you probably use Coinbase. It is the second largest cryptocurrency exchange behind Binance and the largest in the United States. And so currently Coinbase holds over over 4,000 Bitcoins based on their last quarterly report, which was back in May, which was also their first quarterly report as a publicly traded stock. And at the time of this recording, Coinbase's total market cap, their total market value was $52 billion. And unfortunately, from the time that they actually IPO'd back in April up to the beginning of July, the value of their stock has actually dropped 26%. And based on the current market value of Bitcoin, which is just around $35,000 per coin at the time that I recorded this video, the total value of their Bitcoin holdings is about 140 million. And so now we're gonna go into number five. And the company with the fifth largest holdings of Bitcoins is Marathon Digital Holding. Now Marathon's ticker symbol is M-A-R-A, and they were formerly known as Marathon Patent Group. Marathon Patent Group was the parent company of a company called Unilock. Essentially what they would do as a quote unquote patent troll is to sue other companies for patent infringement and that was basically their business model for making money. But more recently, one other focus that they have turned to is actually Bitcoin mining. And so they buy Bitcoin mining equipment and they actually mine Bitcoin. And so their current total holdings of Bitcoin is over 5,000 coins. Now Mara's market cap is just about $3 billion and the value of their stock has grown 190% year to date. So just in the first six months, of 2021. And if you go back just one year ago, 12 months ago, it has grown over 3,200%. And so when you consider the over 5,000 Bitcoins that they hold, the current value of their Bitcoin holdings is just around $175 million. Now, number four on this list is Square Inc. Ticker symbol SQ. And Square Inc. is the fourth largest holder of 
Bitcoin as far as publicly traded companies, and they currently hold over 8,000 Bitcoin. Now, Square was initially known for the little mobile reader that you could connect to your iPhone or to your Android phone, you connect it to the headphone jack, and now you had your own credit card reader that you could use to receive mobile payments. And since then, they've created mobile POS systems. They've created POS systems that even larger businesses, not just small businesses, use. And they're also the creator of Cash App, which is an app that you can use to transfer money to friends and family or even to other businesses. And you can also invest in the stock market within Cash app you can buy fractional shares of companies just like Square and most of the companies that I name in this video but you can also directly buy Bitcoin if you want as well using Cash App. So with Square not only can you buy other stocks and other stocks that I'm going to mention in this video but you can buy Bitcoin directly and if you buy Square you can benefit from the rise in Bitcoin because they hold so much Bitcoin. And the CEO of Square is Jack Dorsey who is also the CEO of Twitter. Now currently Square is a hundred and 11 billion dollar company that's their current market cap and up to July of 2021 they have gained 10% in the stock market and if you go back a year 12 months ago they've gained over 112% just one year ago. And so once you consider the 8,000 Bitcoins that they currently hold, with Bitcoin being right around $35,000 per coin, that means their current holdings is $280 million worth of Bitcoin. Now moving into the number three company, which happens to also hold more Bitcoin than the first three companies that I mentioned in this video combined, is Tesla. Tesla is the third largest publicly traded company that is holding Bitcoin at the moment, and they currently hold 43,000 Bitcoins. Now, as many of you probably already know, Tesla is a maker of electric vehicles. They are the company who has made electric vehicles cool by making something that someone who wanted a sports vehicle would actually want to drive, and it just so happened to be an electric vehicle. And so people really jumped on that bandwagon of wanting electric vehicles. They now have multiple electric vehicles, and they even have have the Model 3, which is a more affordable electric vehicle compared to the first couple of models that Tesla made. And so many of you know that Elon Musk is the CEO. He is also a big supporter of not only Bitcoin, but Dogecoin as well. But it wasn't until last year in 2020 that he actually used his company to purchase Bitcoin with the cash that they had on hand. And so he actually started to buy Bitcoin after having a conversation on Twitter with the CEO of the number two of the second largest holder of Bitcoin that you can publicly trade. Now Tesla's market value is currently over $654 billion. And while they're only up 3.79% year to date, if you consider the past year, they're up over 180% in the past year. And so given that Bitcoin is just about $35,000 per coin, and they currently hold 40, over 43,000 Bitcoins, the total value of their Bitcoin holdings is just around $1.5 billion. And so that takes us to number two, which is the company of the CEO who actually had that conversation with Elon Musk and showed him how he could buy large amounts of Bitcoin within a very quick time period and that is MicroStrategy. And now MicroStrategy, even considering that Tesla holds 43,000 Bitcoins, MicroStrategy actually holds more Bitcoin than the other four companies that I've mentioned so far in this video. Their current holdings of Bitcoin is 105,000 coins. That's almost two and a half times as much as Tesla is currently holding. Now, outside of being the largest publicly traded business, MicroStrategy is a provider of enterprise software, specifically analytics software and services. And so last year as well, their CEO, Michael Saylor, decided that based on what he was seeing in the market, especially after the pandemic in 2020, that he felt that Bitcoin was the best way for their company to actually hold assets instead of holding it in cash. He felt that Bitcoin was the best way to beat inflation that he felt was coming at essentially about a 15% rate per year. And so because he felt that inflation was going to grow at a rate of about 15% per year, he felt that Bitcoin was the best way to hold on to his cash instead of that cash losing value at about 15% per year, which is what his expectation is. And so because of that, not only did he use his cash, he also sold bonds in order to get more cash to buy more Bitcoin. And he also bought back more of his own company stock because he knew that once he had the amount of Bitcoin that he planned on, planned on buying, that the value of their company would also increase in value 
with the increase in value of Bitcoin. And so you can see a chart here. This is around the time that MicroStrategy actually bought Bitcoin. And from that time period on, you can see that the value of their stock also increased significantly with the increase of the price of Bitcoin. And you can also see that Tesla's stock chart looks almost identical to MicroStrategy's as both of them are over a billion dollars worth of Bitcoins that they're holding. And given his average of about $25,000 per Bitcoin, he is actually up over 20% from the time that he purchased Bitcoin and his average holdings compared to the about $30,000 to $35,000 per coin value of Bitcoin at this moment. And so if we use $35,000, which is about where Bitcoin is at the moment, considering that they hold 105,000 Bitcoins, MicroStrategy's current holdings of Bitcoin will be valued at 3. Six seven billion dollars, and that would be about a 40% return based on the average that he bought those 105,000 Bitcoins at. Now the number one holder of Bitcoin, the number one way that you can benefit from the price of Bitcoin without directly purchasing or mining Bitcoin is through a Bitcoin ETF called Grayscale Bitcoin Trust ticker symbol GBTC. Now this ETF is not available on all brokerages, but it is available on most investment apps that you can use, especially the larger, more well-known old school brokerage accounts. But due to this being the closest thing that you can get on the publicly traded market, to Bitcoin, it essentially mirrors the value and the volatility as far as the ups and downs of the price movements of Bitcoin. And so GBTC, its current market cap is around $20 billion. It is currently down for the year. It is down 18% within the first six months of 2021. But over the past year, it has increased by 187%. So this is pretty much the, the purest way that you can purchase Bitcoin on the stock market. And there are many people and many companies who have actually purchased GBTC as a way to invest in Bitcoin without directly buying Bitcoin or mining Bitcoin themselves. Even Morgan Stanley recently purchase over 28,000 shares of GBTC in order to get exposure to Bitcoin. And so if GBTC holding over 600,000 Bitcoin currently, about 607,000 Bitcoin, its current holdings of Bitcoin are just around $21 billion. And so GBTC is the most well-known and the easiest way to purchase Bitcoin on the publicly traded market. But there are other ETFs that are on the way or potentially on the way. There are multiple companies who have filed to create their own Bitcoin ETF, including one of the most famous people or one of the biggest investors in the companies that I mentioned in this video is an investor named Kathy Woods. Now, Kathy Woods is the CEO of ARK Invest. Now, recently, Kathy Woods actually filed paperwork so that she could create her own ETF. If that is approved, the ticker symbol for that ETF will be ARKB, standing for ARK Invest Bitcoin and approval or denial is expected for that ETF before the end of 2021. But right now you can actually invest in one of Kathy Wood's ETFs, ARKW, and that is the ARK Invest Innovation ETF. Now this ETF currently holds 48 stocks and most of these stocks are in the internet or technology field. And so not only does she also invest in GBTC, but she invests in four out of the six companies that I mentioned in this top six. And those four are Coinbase, Square, Tesla, and GBTC. In fact, these four stocks are in the top 12 holdings of the ARKW ETF. And in total, those four companies represent just over 21% of the total of that ETF. Now, ARKW is only up 2.96% over the course of 2021 so far. But if you go back just one year, it is actually up 71% over the past year. So there you have it, not only just the top six companies, but you have actually seven ways that you can invest in Bitcoin or benefit from the rise in Bitcoin while also investing in other companies in the stock market in a way that you're already familiar with. And you don't have to go and create a digital wallet. You don't have to go and buy or build your own mining rig. If you're already familiar with how to invest in the stock market, any of these seven companies that I mentioned in this video are companies that you can invest in and still benefit from the rise in Bitcoin. But not only that, you can also manage some of your risk because most of the tickers I mentioned in this video, they are operating businesses. And so you're not 100% connected to the fluctuation in price of Bitcoin, but you can get some benefit if these companies were to continue to hold Bitcoin 
and the price of Bitcoin were to continue to increase in the future. Now, however, if you are actually interested in directly buying Bitcoin, as I mentioned, Coinbase, which was the number six company in this video, you can actually use Coinbase to directly purchase Bitcoin. And I'll have a referral link provided below if you would like to try out Coinbase or check it out. I also have a referral link to BlockFi, which is a company that I recently did a review on. With BlockFi, you can also directly purchase Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, and you can earn an interest rate up to about 8%, depending on which cryptocurrency you actually hold within your BlockFi account. So make sure you check out the referral links to both Coinbase and BlockFi. I'll have it available in the description below. So what do you think about these alternatives as a way that you can benefit from the rise in Bitcoin without actually investing directly in Bitcoin? Is this something that you would do if you're already an investor or if you're just learning how to invest? Would you rather do it this way versus also creating your own digital wallet? Or would you rather do both? Because most of these companies are actually pretty good companies to invest in, even if you weren't investing in them based on Bitcoin alone. And also what company do you think will be next to actually purchase over a billion dollars in Bitcoin. There are many tech companies that are holding a lot of cash at the moment, and many of them could benefit from the rise of Bitcoin if they were to use some of their cash to actually purchase Bitcoin. So definitely leave a comment on which company you think will be the next one to purchase over a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. And also give me your thoughts about using this as an alternate way to benefit from the rise in Bitcoin. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.